Hi guys, so this is the tutorial for the second part of exercise one, which asks you guys to start out in Rhino, make a closed poly surface, and then afterwards figure out how to make that exact same object uh, out of paper. So in a sense, it's the inverse of the first part of the exercise, um, and it forces you to, you know, once again, transfer information from the digital to the physical, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. In this case here, you guys can sort of see this is this complex enclosed polygon that I have built here. And so the idea is essentially, not, right? Now we're starting with a three-dimensional object once again. And um, rather than locating all the points uh, and trying to um, build it out of paper like that, what we're gonna do is essentially take this object and unfold it into its flat shape. And then we're going to grab that flat shape, which will make a template. And that template we can print and fold again in order to produce this exact same object. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see with something like this. And I will show you what it looks like in just a second. But in order to demonstrate the basic principles of it, I'm actually going to move this over. So I'm going to type move, enter, and then uh, move it 10, uh, 10 in units in uh, the y-axis. Press enter again, right? So I'm just gonna leave that there for a second and I'm actually gonna build a cube uh, to show you guys how to do that. So to do that, I type box, enter, and I'm gonna type um, 0, 0, 0 as my first point, and then 4, 4, and then 4 for the height. So there I have a cube. Um, so conceptually what we have to do, right, is very simple, is we just have to unfold this box into its, uh, into its surfaces. And there are many ways that we could do that, but one of the easiest would be to just explode it, right, into its surfaces. Now we can grab each one of those individually and to sort of uh, unfold each surface based off of our, uh, our XY plane. Right, And so to do that, I would say, for example, grab this surface here and type rotate 3D. And that's because we're gonna be rotating uh, three-dimensionally. And I would choose my axis of rotation, which is essentially my fold line and uh, my axis, which is uh, along the plane that I'm folding. And I would, in this case, fold 90 degrees. And so you can see how I now I have folded this surface onto my XY plane. And I would do the exact same command, rotate 3D, enter, uh, choose now this as the fold line for this surface, this as my axis of rotation, and essentially just continue with this process until I have unfolded my box. And in this case, I'm gonna grab both of these surfaces and do the same command rotate first along this axis. And now once again, along this axis. So uh, you can see here, now I have essentially unfolded my box into those six surfaces. And all of those are on the X, Y plane, right? So you can see those are all on the X, Y plane. So that is essentially you know, forms the basis of the template that I need for this box. Um, so that is conceptually what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna move this out of the way, but we're gonna be doing that process to this object, right? And so if we bring this object back to zero comma zero comma zero, right? Um, we can see this object would be a little bit more complicated to unroll. Uh, because um, the axes of rotation are a little bit more complex and because there are multiple surfaces that don't touch the ground plane and therefore we'd have to do sort of multiple rotations like we did for this last panel, right? So one of the nice things about Rhino is that it understands sort of that this base concept that we did, which was to unfold an object. And so it actually is a command that we can do with an entire 
closed poly surface. So once you understand this conceptually, now we can, we can actually just type it in as a command and get the results. And so I want to show you what that looks like. So if you grab your finished poly surface, remember uh, when, you, when you've built your poly surface, you built it out of surfaces. So they're probably not connected. And like I said before, you know, it's very important that after you've done that, you grab them all from the top left to the bottom right, grab all the surfaces, type join. So once you have that done, you have one poly surface. And now we can grab that and type the command unroll surface. And you can see it, what it looks like right there. When you do that, it will ask you a couple of things. Do you want labels on each of the pieces? I, in this case, it's simple enough. I'm going to put no. Um, and then right now, well, the important one is that uh, the default is to ex is, um, explode is yes. So you want to change that to explode no. And click enter. And you will see here, it has unrolled. It has un like basically unfolded this object into its component surfaces. And you can see here, now this, the exact same process that we did with the box has been done to our object, okay? Uh, so you could see now how we could take this as a template and, uh, and then uh, build this and then now use these as like fold lines um, in order to rebuild this object, okay? So that's the first part of the tutorial. The next part of the tutorial that I want to show you is how to uh, actually print this template out correctly. Um, but that will be uh, coming up next. So hopefully this gives you the, the conceptual understanding of what's happening and we can talk through how to uh, print in the next tutorial.